Hey friend, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing really well. So welcome to a game called Curse. Now this is a, another point and click, but this one is like horror. It's a horror game. Um, so I thought we would try it out. I got it during one of the Steam sales. And so yeah, we'll just click a new game. Easy, normal or hard or nightmare mode. What's the difference? I get what's the easy mode though. Yeah, we'll just go for normal, you know, stuff. Hey, right, Wallace at Paranormal Investigations. Da da da! Do we have the key? Investigate. Okay, dokey. Read page one. The prototypical haunted house. It's almost two hundred years old. Oh, the locals call the place Bloody Manor because of the. A uh, span of a hundred plus years, over 38 people went missing or died while visiting. Ooh! Uh, uh, some say the number may even be as high as 72. The facts are speculative at best. One report says the owner's wife stabbed her own eyes out, then slit her own throat. Another report spoke about three teenagers drowning themselves, uh, sorry, drowning within the courtyard fountain on Halloween night last year. Uh, could be nothing more than urban legends, imagination getting the better of people. Whatever is true or untrue, the fact is that people are afraid of this place. Me too! Me too, by the sounds of it. Um, okay, my first official investigation for Wallace Paranormal Investigations. Looks like a relatively easy gig. I was hired because I have a special knack for the paranormal called psychometry. Is that how you say that word? No idea. I can read the paranormal energies in objects, usually in form of visions or sounds. Sometimes in the form of messages sent by the dead. Okay. Uh, looks like they sent me. They set me up pretty well. This backpack and its contents should. I. Oh, okay. So we have the backpack and that. That's this. Okay. Flashlight backpack key to get in some banishment. Okay, shine flashlight on any aggressive ghosts I may encounter. Man, I hope that works. <laughs> flashlight only has one battery, so make it last. Great. Look around at everything. If I got stuck, these old places have a secret areas and such. Use my sixth sense, readability, um, if I want to. Okie dokie. I think that covers it. You are telling me. 13 rooms? six bathrooms 1836 it was built okay we'll leave it i'm kind of scared about the whole flashlight thing you know investigate the manual take the flashlight oh no can i take it or do i have to like oh, okay head to the manor we are heading to the manor. let's do this don't forget your flashlight dude i hope i haven't just like wasted some of its battery juices uh, you arrive at the manor. The cab driver waits for you to exit the vehicle. <laughs> Please, sir, don't make me leave. How do I leave? Oh, okay. Oh, it's snowing. Because it's a point and click. I'm, like, using one hand and I'm freaking out. Okay, investigate the manor. Can I... Can I look at this stuff? Uh, you stand outside the entrance of the doors. Okay. The cab driver makes a hasty retreat. Bye! There is no one driving that cab. Huh. He didn't even wait for a tip. <laughs> oh god, I was scared. Might as well get it. Get out of the cold. Okay. Oh, this is scary! I don't know if I have to use, like, the keys. Like, um, keyboard keys. Uh, the key the agents provided is in my backpack. How do I get to the backpack? Let's open the backpack and find the key. Are you going to tell me how to do that? The game will always open your backpack when an item is needed. Oh, okay, cool. So I don't have to do anything. Uh, click on the key icon and then click on the door to use it. Great. Okay, cool. We're good. You unlock the doors. I kind of like knock the doors open you can also press i or b key to open and close the backpack oh okay um there the doors are unlocked time to get inside okay cool open the manor doors 
I think I'd wedge them open. A door within a door, huh? That's very posh. <laughs> I'd just stay here and be like, nah, no, sorry. Ah, uh, just, uh, just as cold in here as it is outside. Isn't it funny how the doors are open but we can't hear? Um, dark in here as well, good thing at flashlight. Um, wait, okay, click or use the F, uh, use F key to toggle flashlight on and off. I don't want to use it because I know it said it's only got one battery. I'm really concerned. Uh, latch is a bit stuck. There we go. Oh my, creaky. Why are the lights still on? As you enter, you notice your cell phone has gone completely dead. Don't like it, don't like it. Stupid phone. I just charged it. I know that problem. My phone does that. Oh, do you see that glowing over there? Well, I'm off to a great start. Might as well look around. Okie dokie. Lights are on, uh, so at least the gas lines are working. There's something glowing up there and I don't like it. Okay, right. Approach stairs. Okay, stairs looks like the only place we can go. Hmm, there's a weird light coming from the second floor entrance. I don't want to go up there. Climb the rest of the stairs. That's creepy. I'm nervous. <laughs> um. Um. Did you guys see that? Whatever that thing was, it locked the upstairs doors. I'm not getting in anytime soon. This is scary. <laughs> Uh, maybe if I go outside my cell phone reel will reactivate. Okay. I have a feeling these doors are going to show me. <laughs> me. Yep. Oh my goodness, she did not. She's just locking me in here. You can hear an ominous click as the front door and vestibule doors lock. Please don't come at me. Welcome to a uh, little bit. Sorry. Approach the desk. Approach the grandfather clock. Approach the dining room. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of scared. It's a point and click. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Let's um, let's go to the desk. Oh, it's slow and creepy. You notice the phonograph turn turntable is spinning. Uh, I wonder who turned this on. Investigate. <laughs> this is gonna piss her off. <laughs> Let's see what kind of tunes they were into. Play. Uh, you put the phonograph needle onto the record. Well, well to Manor. Great. I'm delighted you decided to come. I do, I do hope, hope you find your stay here in the lightning. The answers yes, that you see are here, I assure you. I must caution you, though. The spectacles behold in this manor house are certainly not for the timid. As for your intention is to purge this home of its unique energies, I will inform you that my manor has stood with its occupants intact for nearly a century. The house protects itself. Now, off you go. You have much to explore and many new friends to meet. I don't want to. How could he know? It's just not possible. Edgar Atherton knew I was coming. The phonograph is now off. Oh, okay, so it kind of like backs you up. Approach the cabinet. This is like if someone chases you and you like go really slow. Looks like newspaper clipping on the cabinet. Investigate newspaper clipping. Um, detective at some paranormal residue on this paper. Ew, gross. Read the headline. 
Uh, newspaper is dated August 31st, 1984. September the 1st, team of paranormal experts set to investigate the manor. That was 30 years ago. Oh, anniversary. <laughs> uh, they worked for the Wallace Paranormal too. Why wasn't I told about this? Because they disappeared. None of this came up when I searched the manor online. Because they're hiding it from you. I uh, wonder what happened to the team. They died. Read page two. Oh, this must have been them. Uh, read the page. The page showcases an interview with the Wallace Paranormal team members. Oh, wow. She will find you. I doubt it very much. Holy! <laughs> what the? Sorry, that's the deal with psychometry. Sometimes the visions are pleasant and sometimes not. Oh, so that's like a okay. Uh, that wasn't a subtle warning. I best, uh, I best need it. Need it. I'm really confused. Should I do the grandfather clock? The planter. The plant is growing, which is really weird. Um, let's do the planter, and then we'll do the grandfather clock. Oh, this is slow and creepy. <laughs> Slow and creepy wins the race. Don't you dare jump out at me. Uh, there's something in the dirt. Sift through the plant soil. Oh, a key. Great, great. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Take it. Uh, oh, the dining room key. Oh, this is creepy. I really thought there's something was going to happen. Okay, that's the library, that's the dining room. Let's do grandfather cock. Then I might do the library and then I'll do the um, dining room as we got a key for that. Uh, 3.15. Uh, that isn't correct as I uh, pulled in at 7.10 p.m. Why would you come here at night? Right, let's go to the library. This was the library, right? And then the other side is the dining room. It's kind of cool how it... Oh, it's locked. I need to find the key. Okie dokie. Um, there's nothing that way. I guess we just go straight for the dining room. <laughs> I don't want to, but we're going there anyway. Great stuff. Great stuff. Unlock the dining room. Okay, cool. Oh, that's creepy. Entering the dining room. Oh my goodness, are you okay, ma'am? Are you okay? This room has higher levels of paranormal energy than the vestibule. Is the vestibule like an entrance? Another main room. Why does that one window not have curtains? I'm really freaked out. Looks like quite a few cabinets to check out. Uh, what does that say? Oh, okay, so I'm just like stuck in a corner here. Approach the cupboard. I don't want to, but we're gonna have to. Why are all the bottles the same, like? Just searching all the cupboards. <laughs> Don't mind me, there's a note within the drawer. So far, so good. Oh wow, okay, read the note. Uh, it's a journal from one of the Wallace Paranormal Investigations. Tasha Holm laid uh, psychic for the team. Uh, seems she had some form of psychometry too. Uh, or at least, uh, or at the very least she was paranormal sensitive. Okay, less than an hour into our study and we already hit a stumbling block. All power cut out upon entering the manor and none of our equipment is functioning. Okay, the longer we spend inside the manor, the more it seems to exercise its will against us. That's creepy. I would continue to write more, but the echoes from the creaks and groans of the old manor are playing tricks on me. I swear, um... 
Uh, sorry, I swear on my soul that I can hear whispers from inside the kitchen. Great. Uh, one cabinet down. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I just go through all of them. This is really creepy. I don't like it. Mine, li I'm like really cold as well. So cobwebs. Oh, spiders! Gross, gross, gross. Another note. I mean, why was it in the drawer though? I don't understand why it was in the drawer. Whoever finds us, that I fear we've made a grave error in coming here. The manor is uh, cold as death. Fire provides no warmth, and the arranged. Uh, Whatever that says, of oh, noise. Okay, right. Let's read it. Uh, this place was really getting to her. Poor girl needed to uh, hone her ability to filter out psychic noises. Uh, she referenced Chris' desire uh, to clean the manor, although it's doubtful he was successful. I've done everything I can to change his mind, but he's become obsessed with the notion of cleaning the manor of its energies he urges me to try to reach out and make contact with them but i refuse oh gross not gross but like you know i wouldn't do it either i'm really freaked out investigate the bottles oh i can actually like okay right we'll investigate the bottles uh i must say eddie you have great taste in wine thank you I'll investigate the dishes there seems to be something underneath the dishes. Underneath the dishes. Look under the dishes. Uh, another one of her notes. Okay, investigate the note. Oh, this one's a long one. Uh, somewhere in the darkness, I could hear a woman's voice. Someone must pay. Someone will pay. Oh, that better not be the woman we saw. Uh, she mentions the uh, secrets in the library and the... A sense which Chris performed. Oh, sorry, seance that Chris performed. Uh, recurring messages. Someone must pay. Someone will pay. The spirits were taunting her, possibly because she was sensitive to it. Uh, she really uh, uh, was losing her grasp on reality. She underestimated the energy within this place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. This is creepy. One more cabinet to check. Oh, God. Oh. Ah! A manifestation. Hello. I am not here to hurt you. But she will hurt you. Who's she? Oh, it sucks that I can't like move. She oh God. Okay, don't put the flashlight on, don't put the flashlight on, don't put the flashlight on. Oh, that was her. That was, um, her spirit is trapped here. Uh, I need to find out how and why. I'm so, like, I got chills. I'm cold. <laughs> okay, open the drawer. I guess we'll just go for the bottom one first. Another note. Another note. Excellent. Okay, snapping sound. Oh, snapping of his neck. Uh, the seance went worse than I expected. The spirit of Mary attacked them. The team scattered. Tasha didn't escape. Oh, wow. The drawer just unlocked and opened itself. Can I click on the note? Another note. Excellent. <laughs> to whoever finds this letter, this note is emanating some serious pheno uh, paranormal. I was going to say phenomenal. <laughs> uh, strange, the page is blank, save for the date and the usual greeting of to whoever this, who finds this letter. Read it or read it. I don't understand. Me neither, me neither. Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh no. Did I really just say oh no? As if like Mary is mounting an attack. What? What 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 what? She is searching through the halls of the manor. 
Oh, what? Okay, gotta think this through. Either stay here or run to another room. I might stay here and see if... I need to look around for entry points and areas to run to. Uh, to use the flashlight to dispel her. Okay. Okay. Get away from me! Uh, that should keep her from uh, mounting any physical attacks for a while. I'm so scared! You return to the dining room. I was already in the dining room. I decided not to move. <laughs> That's all. Oh god, creepy, 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 creepy. <laughs> Get lost, Mary. Hello? <laughs> Mary seems to be enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. My hands are so cold. I guess we just go through to the kitchen then. Like nobody's business. End of the kitchen. Can I save this? Resume difficulty. Okay, we just we turn the difficulty. Like we can change the difficulty. Great. I hope it saves on its own. Like I hope it can just exit. I hope she's not mounting another attack. He said for a while, so I think we might be okay for a little bit. Oh crap. Somebody had a whale of a time. There's no windows in the kitchen though. Oh, fancy that. No windows in the kitchen. Um, do do do. What can we search? Um, okay, a kitchen exit. Open the kitchen door. It's kind of like Resident Evil, like slow motion. You never know. What is with that picture? Can you see that? Enter the cellar access room. Okay. Oh, that picture is really weird. Um, okay, the cellar. Okay, I can actually go that way. You get an overwhelming feeling of dread as you move close to the cellar door. Investigate. The door is locked. No surprise there. I'm getting waves of energy pouring from behind it. It's almost too much to stand near. Should I read the door or leave the door? We'll read it. Screw it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I shouldn't have read the door, guys. I shouldn't have read the door. Calm down. Calm down. I can't take my. I need to clear my head. Well, sorry, we can't go outside. Uh, that isn't helping. <laughs> Good luck at it. Oh god, please go away. Ah! Okay. Flashlight didn't help then. Oh my god, my flashlight's going down. Uh, whom do you seek revenge upon? Why am I slanted? Uh, I'll keep searching this place until I get some answers. Okay, right. I think what I'm going to do is so, like, it's so sketchy to have a kind of, like, point and click, like, horror game like this, uh, where something can get you. It's really cool. So, I'm going to leave this at first episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you will enjoy this game. It's a little bit of a different point and click from the Nancy Drew, the one that we have played. So, thank you all so, so much. Hit the like button, leave comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.